Hey guys, it's Richard here, and um, we have just moved bases, and I have started to set up uh, a little differently um, than we had in our cave. Uh, like I said, I told you to save your diamonds, so you should have 11 and all the other goodies. I need to organize these chests. Oh my god. So, I started placing what I'm going to originally, or what I did on my last server, and what I'm going to do on this server is have four furnaces and four mace raiders, and then it's all going to be automated by the teleporting... <laughs> that's actually <laughs> that's actually what the <laughs> the episode is on. Um, these are called turtles, and <laughs> these things are awesome. Um, I was gonna make energy, uh, show you how to set up energy for your base, but these are <laughs> these, <laughs> these are so much cooler <laughs> than uh, those stupid things. Uh, these are cooler than energy, so we're gonna use a generator for a little bit longer. As you see, we still have our bat box set up, um, and I'm gonna show you these mining turtles. <laughs> um, okay, so what a mining turtle does, other than <laughs> other than run away from you um, when he's sad and depressed, um, is basically you can tell it to do whatever you want. Um, if this little turtle right here, I can have it auto harvest my trees, I can have it replant the saplings that it receives, um, I can have it uh, strip mine for me, I can have it auto harvest and auto plant, um, what's it called, uh, wheat farms. So basically these little things are extremely powerful and all you have to do is mine it. Um, now as far as coding goes, you can... you. You can code your own. You can code it to do your own programs, or you can look at some awesome programs online. So I'm going to show you a program um, that uh, once I get to the mines, I'll show you. But first, I'm going to show you kind of just the ingredients of how to make these. So you can make your own. I'm not going to make one because I already made one. I was already playing around with it. Um, so we have, if we type in not a toodle, we need a turtle. So if you hear, we have the wireless mining turtle. I haven't played with those yet, but I'm gonna. So we click on these, and you will need a diamond pickaxe. So if you can manage to just get 14 diamonds while you're in the ore or in the cave, you could do this. And I'm gonna show you why this is gonna be perfect. Um, why, if you could just manage to squeeze out those three extra diamonds, you will be able to do so much more. So basically, this is the recipe, but it, you need a turtle. And in order for that, you need to make a computer, which is really simple. Just four stone, or four stone, jeez. Uh, seven stone, a redstone, and a glass pane. That'll give you a computer. Okay, so we'll go back to mining turtle, and how to make that is you need one computer, one chest, and all these iron ingots. Easy, easy. Then you get a turtle. Now, the turtle does nothing until you equip it with a diamond pickaxe. So, that's pretty cool. Um, now, to show you what the turtle actually is capable of. So, I am going <laughs> It's a good thing he chased down his mining turtle. Um, he's actually the one who showed me these. So, props to Jackie. I was looked at these and then I kind of turned them away. So I'm going to go to my mine and we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we are down in our scary, super scary ravine that we have not explored yet. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using this for the most um, while I set up my quarry for the next video. Um, actually, I probably should do power uh, the next video and then we'll get to the good stuff, the quarry and the pipes. Um, okay, so basically what you do is you're gonna place your little quarry buddy down, or your little mining turtle. And you go in here and it says Turtle OS. So then you can type in programs and hit enter, and you'll get a list of programs. Um, as you see, awesome.txt is a program that, uh, I can't remember who wrote the program. Um, his name's Hennis. I'll have a link to where I got this. Um, all credit goes to him uh, for making this a uh, really badass bot. So, okay, now that we're back in here, we can continue. So now that we know the program is called awesome.txt, you can name it whatever you want. So we're gonna do awesome.txt, and it's gonna load up the program. So it says height of tunnel. So let's say if we're doing a normal, um, 
a normal, uh, what do you, ow, oh, strip mine, Jesus. So you see height of tunnel, two, enter, width of tunnel, one, enter, length of tunnel, however far you want. So let's do, you know, let's do a hundred, we'll do a hundred, place torches, yes. Now, don't hit enter yet, put your torches in here, and this will place tor torches perfectly on the ground for you so you never have to um, place torches and it lights up everything nice and neat there's so much this thing can do there's so many scripts out there this thing is by far the coolest thing I think I've ever played with so um, as far as I understand you can also put ores that you want to save because this thing will rack up a lot of cobblestone so um, yeah I think you can place the ores you want to save so we're gonna do yes we hit enter and look at that, you see status, one, blocks mined, four, torches placed, one. Um, yep, designed by Hennis. So we hit escape, and look at it go. It just is going to mine straight. Now, you can make these tunnels as big as you want, as you just saw. So you can either uh, follow behind it, and as you see, a nice torch place. And if you come in here, it should never drop a block below um, eight, which is perfect because mobs don't spawn. So... I really want to thank Jackie for showing this to me, because um, I, like I said, I was really not wanting to play with these because I looked at the wiki on the way home from work, and I uh, wasn't really impressed with it. So um, as far as powering it goes, as you see, it just it just uses space power. Like um, I guess the redstone was the fuel, and it like it never needs to be charged. Oh, look at that! We already found diamonds. How about that? This thing is absolutely. Uh, fantastic. Now, as far as that goes, I don't... Okay, so it didn't get any diamonds itself. Um, so actually, let's mine this real fast while we're here. Um, and also, what's amazing about this thing, which I know is already amazing enough... Look at that, five diamonds. So we're going to put a diamond in there so it actually saves the diamonds, or it saves room for diamonds. Um, cool, and it'll give us sapphires. Oh, I thought that was diamond. Um, okay, so what's really cool about this thing is even after it's done with its 100 block tunnel, it will turn around by itself and go all the way back to the start point of where you started it. So that's really cool. So you can either do what I'm doing is following behind it and, you know, just collecting all the ores because what's cooler than doing this? Strip mining equals ton of Oh, ha ha! Hell yeah. So uh, this is by far... Uh, one of the coolest things ever. Um, ah, it tricked me again. So, I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. Uh, yeah, so the next step will be power. Um, since this was a little shorter than I expected, talking about this amazing uh, tunneler, um, I'm going to let it finish. Uh, I'll bring back the video at the end and I'll show you what we have received. Oh, you see, it's already dug its 100 blocks, which is really short, actually. Oh, I was in the way. If it detects you or a mob, it waits for him to go. Um, it just floats over holes, as you see. But it did finish, which is actually perfect timing, which is crazy. So I need to make that a little bigger um, for the next one. But as you see, we're just getting materials and it basically did all the, the hard work for us. Um, now normally, you know, uh, I'm probably going to get four or five of these and just let it start going down in strips and strips. Make sure you're, okay, whew. make sure you're on level, you know, 12 to 14 or 10. 10 to 14 is usually where you're going to want to set this off to do the most amount of diamonds. Um, so let me just mine this up here and we will continue on. So, it's up to you, really. You can do what I said before. You can save your diamonds for the quarry. Um, I know everyone likes to operate a nice, good quarry. Or you can build a diamond pickaxe and make one of these turtles. Um, all you have to do, remember, um, I didn't show you the automatic crafting table yet. Um, at least I don't think I did. My episodes got kind of messed up because I made an episode about wind turbine uh, and it actually wind turbines are bugged for some reason they're not turning on 
Oh, I can't get out. This thing does not want to let me out. So I will make my own way out. As you see, Jackie has his little mining thing. Ah, balls. Okay, cool. So you see 10 diamonds, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go and I'm going to show you how to do some power so we can start getting our machines powered better. Uh, yeah, catch you in a second. All right, so I kind of lied to you guys again. I'm super, 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 super sorry. I said we were going to talk about power, but we're going to dedicate this entire episode to this. This mining turtle. I want to show you what else it does. I showed you how it did. Uh, uh, why can I never remember these names? Strip mines. So we got a little tree farm here, right? Little rubber saplings. Oh, good. And uh, what's awesome is I didn't. I okay, Hang on. We got to do this. We got to do this. So let's put these in here. Let's make these. We'll make two tree taps. Actually, no, we'll make three. Three tree taps right there. All right, here's zombie. So we're going to keep our sword handy. All right, so we'll go around. It's really cool to do this. Um, you're going to be blown away, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you've seen cooler, but this is pretty sweet. Um, these mining turtles are awesome. Way cooler than me, so you should definitely check them out. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, there's some on the ground right there. Alright, so what do we get? 12. That ain't too bad. That is 36 rubber when we extract it. Okay, so now we got this, and we can chop these down by hand, you know, get the saplings, replant them to get more rubber, or we can go to our handy-dandy mining turtle, and you start it up, basically. Um, you run another program, which I'll put the same program, or the other program, in the description for you. And uh, since I already set it up, I'm going to show you a little bit of what it does. So we're going to hit R. Bam-o! Look at it go. You gotta make sure it has dirt in its second inventory. You come back here. Yeah? You gotta make sure it has dirt in its second inventory, because if anything's broken underneath it, it will actually place dirt for you. And you gotta make sure the saplings are in the left inventory. As you see, it places the saplings. So basically, this thing just goes out. Oh, la, 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 la. This thing just goes out and does all the nice hard work for you. And all you have to do is sit here and lounge. Um, you know, you could look at pictures, you could twiddle your thumbs, and this thing just does it for you. These things are fantastic. So, anyways, we'll check on this in a little bit. Um, I was, I had an episode planned before this of doing power. Um, now, power, which is gonna be the next episode now, is um th there's a few different ways to do it so we'll explain it but one of them is a little bit buggy right now and uh that is the windmills for some reason um i couldn't do it at like 85 but the wiki said not to go over 85 so i'm thinking it's something with the change um to 1.2.5 tech it uh in the increased height limit to 256 or whatever so so yeah, I wanted to just show you this episode, show you why you should get a um, a mining turtle. Um, I did die using mine, if you can believe that. Um, I actually found a ravine and was all excited, and a skeleton thought it was cool to shoot me in lava when I peeked my head out. But you can definitely see, though, that they're really nice to have. 28 diamonds, and I was down there for 5 minutes. Not even, not to mention even all this iron and tungsten that's useless and tin and silver that I get for doing nothing but following behind or letting them do their routes and then coming down at a later date. Um, once I figure out how to set some more stuff up with the mining turtles, you can even have a nice big flat screen TV here and command them all from one area. And you can see the progress of all four of them or however many you have, up on one big giant screen. Now you can look more into computer craft for that, but um, but yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching, and feel free to subscribe. We're gonna we're gonna be tech at masters here in a little bit, so hopefully you guys are getting ready for that. What the hell is this on my mini map?
Why does it say there's a big purple thing here? I don't see anything purple. Huh, okay. So, uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, actually, wait. Look, look, look. He just finished. He just finished. And now we're going to come over. And now that he's getting his rest, we're going to collect the saplings. Nom. 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 Nom, 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 nom. Uh, okay, so that's all we got so far. So it's... We're behind right now. But we will catch up. We got six. We started off with... I don't even remember. I think we started off with 17, I think. Either way, um, these things are amazing. You should definitely invest in one. Um, they're just... Wow, weird. Okay, so that means that I shouldn't be doing that right now. Uh, it's the first time I've ever seen a magenta screen. Sweet. So, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.